The symmetry line has many uses. It's basically the multi-tool, all-in-one dog leash. You can use it to make a harness, as you see here. You can use it as a long line, uh, double points, two points of attachment for different dogs or for the same dog, all kinds of different things. So I'll show you 10 of those uses today. First thing is all the different names. So we've got two fixed snaps at the end. In the middle of the line, we've got two sliding snaps. And then we have three of these movable stoppers to make it so that you don't just slide too freely. So for example, you might want your line to stop here. And so that movable uh, stop will make it so that will stop there. So very handy. And I'll show you how to use that into some different configurations. So to make one uh, type of harness, if for example, you have a, a, a client dog or your own dog that doesn't have a collar at all, you can make this style of harness. I'll show you another way next that's actually a little bit easier that you can use if they already have a collar. The slider first goes into position. So that's about, if you take it from the center of the dog's neck, it goes over the back and kind of comes off the other side a little bit. So about that long, you'll adjust that later. And then clip to the leash itself using the sliding snap. So you've got two stoppers. So slide the other stopper up if you don't have that and then put that on the dog's neck and then just get the dog to step over the two pieces of the leash. This dog doesn't move very much, so I'm gonna to have to move him. And then basically you would just wanna snap beyond. So the, the fixed end here, it's just gonna snap just past the movable stopper that's next to the, the sliding snap here. And so now that one is basically going to make it so that you have um, the, the leash doesn't slide around, so you're going to just clip that back to the base of that fixed end snap, and now you have your harness. So if you have a collar and you're walking your dog and they're just pulling and pulling and it gets kind of annoying, you can easily turn that collar into a front clip harness using the symmetry line. Basically all you do is you clip so to the collar like you were, have the dog step over the line, then go over the dog's back. Now the slider, uh, the original, or the, the first movable stop, we wanna move that kind of far out and then have the dog step over this all again. Just clip it back to here. And now you have your, your harness. Basically you wanna make sure that this movable stop and this one are both adjacent to the clip. So it's less likely that you'll be moving your dog. Now, if the dog is really strong and is pulling hard, that's when you would want to put a knot right here to make it sure that this really doesn't move at all. So sometimes you might have a harness that you'd like to use for two points of contact. So if you have attached to the front and the back, then with that, you're able to sort of steer the dog a little bit better with very gentle movements. So with the symmetry line, you can actually attach the two strands of the leash together. And that way you end up with basically one leash to handle without um, quite so much bulk in your hands. So you can basically, um, because these slide, um, you can, you know, you can sort of move one and move the other, which is really handy. So all you have to do is basically take um, all of the sliders, the sliding hardware and put it all on one side and then use that to then just clip to the other side of the leash. So essentially, if this is the middle of your line, this is where your hands are gonna go. So you can grab like that. Uh, basically then one line has, strand has no um, hardware on it and the other strand has all of the hardware. So then you basically just clip over the fabric of each piece. And that gives you your slider. You can also do two points of contact with a long line. So rather than one line, one strand that's doubled up on itself, you can basically just take it so that you have the first movable stopper is the distance between your two pieces of hardware. And then you clip to one, use your slider here to clip to the other. And that way, if it tightens, it'll just kind of go to the same dimensions here so the dog won't trip on it or anything. And then the rest of the line just turn into a leash. So you've got the two pieces clipped together or whatever for a handle. You can gather that up however you normally would. And then when you're using it, you will put your one hand here and one hand here. So again, you can give that sort of information 
with two pieces from two different places. So it's very handy. And then if there is, you know, some for some reason your dog's running away and you or you'd like to let out the line, you just do that. Um, and then you have only really the one strand to hold on to. So if you find yourself uh, with your leash but without a collar whatsoever and you just quickly need to get the dog onto something, um, you can use this to make a collar. Obviously you'd want the wider gauge of leash, so the half inch rather than the 3 8 inch, um, to make a collar for a dog of this size. So uh, basically what you do is you're just so starting from here, this amount we just are setting up to be the size of the dog's neck. So we don't want to make it smaller than the dog's neck. And like I said before, you can always tie a knot in it if you want to absolutely make sure it doesn't slide. But this configuration doesn't really slide, so we're good there. So that's, you're already safely holding the dog, um, but adding this other clip makes it so that you don't have any sliding problems. So just take the clip and go over either to this piece of the, the leash, so you can clip onto here, or you can clip over the leash itself, over the snap itself. Um, and that way you have immediately a collar. So if we have a loose dog that we need to catch, or if we're, say, we're working in a kennel or a shelter and you need to get the dog on a leash but standing outside of the kennel, basically you can make this um, safe release uh, dog catching device. So it just sort of releases down uh, and then it doesn't go any tighter than the dog's neck because of how you've set it. So there's a piece right here makes it so it doesn't tighten more than the neck. And then you can get it off of the dog easily without needing to bend over or get anywhere near the teeth. So basically you start with uh, one fixed end and one slider with the um, stopper in between. The stopper needs to be set up so that once you have your collar, that does not go any tighter than the dog's neck. So you kind of have to eyeball it a little bit if you're just catching a dog, right? Um, but so get that as close to the dog's neck size as you can. Um, air on the side of too big, if it gets loose, uh, then any still inside his kennel, you're fine. So basically then, this is our noose piece, uh, which I hate calling it that, but that's <laughs> our lasso for the dog. Um, then we're just basically gonna clip, um, sorry, we're gonna clip onto the bar here of the movable slider, and then that is what makes it so that we can slide in and out. So that's how we use it. So this piece is just gonna drop down and be able to slide back up again, not tightening more than the dog's neck. So we also wanna make sure that the clients are holding their leash at the right length. So with bat leash skills, we have breaking distance. So it looks about like this, where it goes slightly below the knees. The clips here can turn into targets. So you can slide those along to wherever you want. You just clip it basically back to itself on the line and that makes a target. So then you go past that. That's your first breaking distance. Your second one, you can set up again, another target. That's your second breaking distance. And then another one of the movable stops there can make that final one. So that's basically how you use the uh, symmetry line with targets. So you could also make a back clip harness that has a shorter leash. This is really nice because it doesn't do any sort of sliding around and the, the top sort of looks attractive, which I like. I'll show you how to make that. Basically what we want here is for the first slider to be um, so that it goes from the center of the dog's chest to just over the end of the spine. Clip the sliding snap so that we basically have the collar section and then bring up the stopper here so that you stop it so it's just right on the dog's chest. Bring this up around snap to itself. Same thing now for another one of the sliders. You'll be able to move this stopper in position as well. So have the dog step over it and then snap here. So now once we get this slider or the stopper here in position, it basically makes it so that the harness is relatively secure, won't fall off the dog. But then if you take the snap from the other end, clip it to both of these pieces then you're stable and then this basically becomes your leash.